Good morning, life science students. Uh, we are on uh, chapter nine as our topic of study today. Remember, and, and some of you are kind of confused over this, you can use these PowerPoints on the exam. Um, I had a couple people writing notes for every PowerPoint. I'm like, whoa, that would take hours. That's terrible. Um, it, the, power, the PowerPoints can be used on the exam. The exam is open book. Um, uh, so, so just download these PowerPoints or, or save them to a Dropbox or, or even keep them online on your computer and you can just use them on the exam. That'd be great. Um, but anyway, entomology, uh, the study of insects, um, starts with Jean-Henri Favre, um, though I'm sure I pronounced his name not as French as I, um, wish. And, uh, uh, he studied insects and entomology, um, arthropods, 90% of animals make, making up insects, um, arachnids, crustaceans, centipedes, and millipedes. Uh, they have an, they have a hard, um, outer shell. They're successful, um, because of multiple things like small size, uh, multi-generational flight metamorphosis, wide variety of food choice. Uh, they eat almost anything, carnivores, herbivores, omnivores, and detritivores. Um, have a basic body plan, such as an abdomen, thorax, um, and head. Um, although an arachnid has just an abdomen and a cephalothorax. Um, they have a couple of interesting things on their head, such as an antennae. Um, sensilla. Uh, mandible and maxilla, uh, the labrum and labium, and have some interesting organs on their abdomen as well, uh, spiracles and ovipositor. Um, and really the only thing that is uh, left that is major in this chapter on insects is uh, the various insect um, orders. Uh, such as Coleoptera, making up sheath-winged beetles. Hemitera, uh, meaning half-wing, like the bed bug, the stink bug, the squash bug. Uh, Ditera, or uh, Diptera, um, depending on your pronunciation. Making up flies, such as mosquito, black fly, house fly. Uh, two wings. Uh, orthoptera, um, coming from the Greek word ortho, meaning straight, like an orthodontist, and terra, meaning wing. Um, straight wings, like grasshoppers, praying mantises, and um, cockroaches. And um, odonata, um, teeth, referring um, to their uh, mandibles, um, odon, meaning tooth. Um, Dragonflies and damselflies. You have uh, Hymenoptera, um, honeybees, the queen, the drone, uh, the worker bees. Um, also the bumblebees and wasps. Um, you may have read on the internet that there are some killer bees that came from Asia <laughs> that uh, are now part of the United States. Uh, they're pretty crazy. They're sting can actually kill you. Um, you also have dairy ants, army ants, and harvester ants. Uh, next order is uh, Lepidoptera. Um, Lepidoptera ha is scale wing like butterflies and moths, um, sharing a unique larval stage um, called a caterpillar. Uh, there's many different types of butterflies you can read on your own. Um, and the last one is help or hindrance. Um, well, do they help or do they hinder? Um, let's see. They're hindrance sometimes because they damage plants, eat food reserves, damage homes. Um, that's not too good, right? But they also pollinate. We wouldn't have any plants without insects because they're the main pollinators. They also clean up dead things. We would have piles of dead stuff without insects and 
They bring balance to nature. So uh, they are both good and bad um, in a sense. And to get rid of them completely would be um, a bad thing, a very bad thing. We try and control their population, though, um, and through biological control and chemical control. Um, we talked about DDT, so harmless you can eat it, right? Um, turns out it killed birds. Not so good. And you can rewatch those videos if you'd like um, in the URLs below. Well, anyway, I hope that you have um, an enjoyable Monday. Um, happy studying.